Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. I'm Burning Dog Face, and once again, Happy Halloween. Last time, uh, in this, you know, st segment of the game strangely plagued with issues, we, uh, picked up the chainsaw, cut our way through, and came to this hospice, which was run by, uh, his brother, uh, Valerio Jimenez. Sorry, Marcello. Your uh, brother turned out to be a monster, and I had to murder him. I guess I might as well. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, February 2005. Myra was almost killed this afternoon, shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking I was going to lose her without telling her how I really feel, was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. There's something undeniable between us. It's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel about her. I hope I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. Hey, Doc, you want to see a magic trick? Oh, I forgot about this. Nurse is gone. Uh, speaking of things I forgot, uh, I got an achievement for that weird vision I saw. Uh, home is where the hospice is. That vision in the hospice. Why here? Why now? Chapter 4. I got, yeah, the one I saw after uh, killing Zombie Valerio. Okay. Nope, can't do that right now. Mm, scary. understand the rules of how this works. I don't have that axe, either. I can draw my weapons, at least. Oh, shit! That's right, if you try to take something in here, it just disappears. I lost that axe, then. Valerio. Missing. Dr. Valerio Jimenez. Owner of the Elk River Hospice, last seen driving into the city. Now, what's interesting about that is, I think the first time I did this era section, I came here before I went into the hospice. So that it didn't appear uh, when he was, you know, killed. Missing patient found caretaker worried sick. Psychiatric patient missing since last Tuesday found hiding in photography studio. Physician Valerio Jimenez says, God's will. I can't help but wonder if the uh, letterbox uh, design was to make sequences like this feel more claustrophobic. No, no, not that way. No. Hmm. No, no, not that way. No. No, no, not that way. No. So many new admissions, and not a single discharge. I don't think that's intentional, you guys. Pretending that didn't happen, uh, the first time that I came here, I was absolutely certain that she was going to have a monster face and she turned around. Oh, I didn't notice that before. I actually can't leave yet. Let go of me! Let go of me! Fine. 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 I 
don't look well at all. Do take care of yourself. Man alive. I get the impression that part is just to mess with you. And here's the key that Valerio stashed inside his patient for reasons I'm sure make sense to a torture zombie. Let's do the very first door. What even is that? Freeze Bolt, a warhead for the Agony Crossbow, which will temporarily freeze struck opponents. Except for certain enemies, the target will break apart after freezing. Hmm. Neat! Actually, how much goo juice do I have? I was saving up for something, anyway. More run would be nice. Somehow he's... I guess, uh... So was I just staring off into space that whole time, or...? I guess he would have said something if I'd vanished into thin air, huh? Hey! A second chance. Oh, no, you don't! Welcome. Ugh. Uh, you can have that guy if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. For some reason, I'm surprised that she looks like a normal person instead of a crazy person. A lot of people were killed before they could be turned into torture zombies. What is he getting it into, anyway? I th I'm not sure, but I think that was a reward. I'll try this thing on the next guy I see and get one of those harpoons. I mean, I have seen loot in dumber places. You want know to take it back just to be on the safe side? Don't eat that guy. Must be going. Who seems to have despawned anyway? Really not looking forward to editing in, uh. Help! Help! What's wrong with this kid? Yeah, okay. So, uh. That was very rude, Castellanos. He is a mental patient. He's doing his best. No, crazy people cannot help that they are crazy. And being shitty to them for it is uh, a dick move. I don't think I went into this building at all. I wish I should turn the light off. Oh, is this just upstairs in a hospice? I didn't even notice a staircase out there. Yeah, yeah, this is the hospice. Never mind. Excuse me. I'll just phase through you.
I still don't see any statues in this area. Sorry. I saw something move. What the fuck? Oh, I don't like you at all. That wasn't so bad. Oh, shit. That wasn't a burn thing. How'd you like that? Oh. This couldn't have happened. Fuck me. I sense that that guy had a lot more health than a regular zombie, and that the harpoons don't suck as much as that would make them seem. Not fragment five. Oh! You know, there was a chest, uh, the first time around. Or I tried to open it, and then it blew me up. I want to look through this. Uh... Just... Oh, no, not that one. Uh... Huh. Bear trap, successive noise. Uh, disarming bombs. No, no, no. Oops. Where the fuck was it? it? Was uh this one? If the chest is trapped, opening it only part way will disarm the trap. Oops. Because I thought it was open it until you hear the first beep and then immediately let go, but that's how you get killed. Sorry, I'm a video game protagonist. I can't help it. Where even are you? Oh, okay, yeah, you'd have to take the path, wouldn't you? As opposed to just dropping down from the side. Ooh, crates. I didn't see these coming in. I kind of want to check that little house again. I didn't see any, uh... Statues or anything so far. Now I remember. I forgot about that one because the first time I that was an example of the thing I had mentioned before, where I was looking I was looking over there when I was approaching the door, so uh, that was lost on me. Probably worth checking out. Yeah, I think so too. I can't believe I forgot a jump scare. <laughs> a second chance at a jump scare. When does that ever happen? <laughs> ashes in here. Which I guess is why that woman is on fire, really. Uh, okay. Not a lot going on in... Oh. I did not do that before. 
I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. Awesome. I thought there was going to be another jump scare when I came up close. Unless it's one of those ones that gets you on the way out. I hate those. You know, you walk in a room and it's super creepy, but then nothing happens. And you turn around and there's a guy standing in the doorway or something. No angels wedged into the rafters. You're calling them angels? Inconceivable. This couldn't have happened. Is this when you mentioned Ruvik without providing context again? Fine, let's grab one of these million bottles that are lying around. Where was that place filled with uh, harpoons? I've got some back in the uh, clinic, but I kind of prefer to spare. Oh, okay. Oh, was that an echo of the woman I say? No, she was on fire, duh. The woman I saved from the guy was not on fire. Huh. What even is that? I think it's like a painted gourd or something. Happy Halloween! Oh no, this is where we're going. I want to go get those harpoons first. Whammo! Maybe it was out there behind the bonfire. Don't forget about me. Well, thanks to you, an 80s song is stuck in my head, so uh, you're going to pay for that. Yeah, all of it. Oh, that's right, you stopped dead in your tracks. Oh, yeah, yeah, when the chainsaw guy got me, that was what was happening. Well, the first time. Uh, time, anyway. No, you couldn't have. I was kidding earlier, I didn't think you'd really do that again. Hey, man, it's a survival situation. You gotta be frugal and remember the supplies you didn't get earlier. Well, we're armed for bear. And, uh... I sort of used all my grenades on the, uh, the sadist. Oh! I didn't use this the first time. Well, now I know what it does. It fully restores your health, but, uh, Sebastian gets kind of incapacitated for about 30 seconds. He's, like, grabbing his head and stumbling around at about this speed. So, using it in combat is not a great idea. I'm not even sure you can draw your weapons. Where's that house that we're supposed to be going to? Is it this one? Yes. Dropping the other one, but okay. There's a lot to go around. He's gone down there. Once more under the rage, right, Doc? Coming. Hey, 
Inconceivable. This couldn't have happened. I'm trying to remember which way it is so that we can uh, avoid the chapter thing. Well. I think it's that one. Oh! Oh, now I do remember that. I think... Yeah, at the time, I theorized that that's, uh... Oh, they really do want you to be armed for bear. At the time, I theorized that that's a, uh... A box that was supposed to have the shotgun in it if you didn't get the first one. Uh, the timer has gone, so I guess we'll, uh, cut it off here, so this wasn't the most eventful episode. But, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play... Couldn't remember the name of the game for a second there. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within. And I hope you're having a happy Halloween. Later!